Welcome back to Exploring Colombia. After showing you the area in and around Cali in the previous episode, it is now time for another tourist hotspot. In this last episode from Colombia, my buddy Stefan and I are going to take you with us as we explore the most beautiful beaches in the Tirona National Park, do another tubing session in Palomino, and hike through the green mountains around Minca, where we check out waterfalls and learn more about Colombian coffee. Santa Marta and the second episode from the Caribbean coast this time from the western part we're gonna explore the Tarona National Park Palomino and Minca in this episode we're gonna start here in Santa Marta where we only spend one afternoon we have a really nice hotel apart from that there's not so much to see this is the beach you can see here it's right next to the port but tomorrow I'm gonna take you to Costeño Beach so let's do this Santa Marta is the capital of the department of Magdalena and the fourth largest urban city of the Caribbean region of Colombia. Founded in 1525, it was the first Spanish settlement in Colombia and is the oldest surviving city in the country and second oldest in South America. Today Santa Marta is a major port city. Beside the small old town, tourism here focuses on the resort-like suburbs Rodadero to the south and Taganga to the north. But it is also the hub for going to all the places I will show you in this video. You can't do so much in Santa Marta, but at least you can have a nice sunset beer here. <laughs> so, off to the next chapter. We made it onto the bus to Tirona. Actually, this bus goes to Tirona and then later on it goes to Palomino and in between is Costeño. This is where we would get off. Alright guys, yesterday I promised you paradise and here we are, our first stop after Santa Marta is Costeño Beach. Look at that. Here in Costeño Beach we are staying at the Tirona Tented Lodge. Here we got a room with three beds actually for 44 euros with everything included which means accommodation, breakfast and dinner. And the beach is right in front of these huts. Isn't that amazing? Waves are pretty strong though so you can't really swim a lot here but it's good enough to dive a little bit into the waves and enjoy the sunset. Have a nice cold drink. Perfect spot to unwind and relax. And when you're in paradise, the best way to cure a hangover after a party at the beach is to drink and eat coconut fresh from the trees here. We're going with the motor taxi. For about an hour up the coast from Costeño, we arrived at our second destination called Palomino. Palomino is a small beach village which became really popular with backpackers because of the Rio Palomino which flows right next to them. And this river is famous for tubing. So this is why we're here for. It also has a beach but it is way more crowded than Costeño Beach. In Palomino we stayed at the Sioux Hostel, which turned out to be just the perfect fit for us due to its nice staff and guests and its laid-back atmosphere. Here we also managed to gather a group of people to go tubing with at the mentioned river. After we made the first part, driving up, we're now walking to the Rio Palomino to go tubing, but first we need to hike up this hill here. <laughs> After hiking for about 15 minutes, we arrived at a spot where we go floating. After 
floating down this river for about two hours. We're now at the ocean where we finished this trip. Pretty cool experience. And the third stop after Santa Marta is the Tirona National Park. The park is located about a one and a half hour drive from Santa Marta and there are several ways how you can do it. We are staying in a hotel for two nights inside the park but there is also camping. On the campgrounds in the Tirona National Park you can stay in tents, you can rent a bungalow. The cheapest way to stay is obviously in these hammocks so you can rent one hammock with that comes a locker and in the locker you can even charge your stuff or you can just visit the park in Tirona in one day this means you arrive early in the morning and you do the big hike which is about like 20 25 kilometers to see all places and then you get back out in the evening we decided to stay in a hotel inside the park for two nights to explore as much of the park as possible. So today on our arrival day we decided to go down to La Piscinita, a beach where you can swim and then walk a little bit up the coast to watch the sunset. We have arrived at La Piscinita which is one of the few places where you can actually go swimming. We walked a little bit further from La Piscinita and we're heading now up to a viewpoint where we can see the best sunset in the park. Let's check it out. I think we found a viewpoint and we have it all to ourselves. It's incredible. Here is the jungle and here is the ocean. Good morning, we got up at 6.30 today to head to the beaches before everyone else because the park opens at 8.30 so all the day visitors will come to this place here at around 9. And we are already on the way to the first beach which is called Arecife. So we made it to the first beach, Arecife. Beautiful. We arrived at Cabo San Juan, which is the highlight of the park. This is where you can find two beaches next to each other where you can swim. A beautiful spot to swim. Up there in the hammocks, you can take a little nap. Welcome to Minka, which is the last stop on our trip in the area of Santa Marta. Minka is a little mountain village located in the Sierra Nevada, about one hour out of Santa Marta. We are staying here in the Casa Loma, which is located on a little hill overlooking the whole area. The perfect place to unwind and relax. The perfect way to finish this part of the Colombia trip. Apart from chilling in Casa Loma, of course, we are also active here and we're now on a little hike to a coffee farm which is right out of Minka. It's about one and a half hours of hiking, maybe two. And then I can introduce you to one of the most important things about Colombia, the coffee. So it looks like we made it to La Victoria, which is the coffee farm, where we go on a little coffee tour to learn more about this little Colombian gem. With this area produce more or less the 40% of coffee in Colombia. 
arriving at this little shop, the best coffee, the most dense material. That comes the best part of it. The second spot we are visiting in Minka is called Posua Sul, and these are basically water holes in a river where you can swim in. It is like halfway to the coffee farm we've been to. Looks good. So I say, let's get in there. So we walked a little bit further from the first water hole and we're at this spot and nobody's here. We have this place all to ourselves. Ah, I'm ready for a little refreshment, for a little dip into the water. Good morning from Minka. For our second day in Minka we chose to go for another hike and our first stop here is the Marinka waterfall and we got up really early to be here before everyone else and as you see that plan worked out well. It's now about 9 o'clock and I think this is the perfect spot for a morning shower. After that fresh morning shower, we now walked up to the second cascade, which is also not too bad. And meanwhile, people arrive. And for the second part of our hike today, we're heading to Los Pinos, another great view you can enjoy here in Minca. All right, it was a really rainy hike, but we finally made it to Los Pinos. It's pretty cloudy still up here, but the view is incredible. Even though this was the last episode of me traveling Colombia, there are more Colombia videos to come where I tell you my best Colombia travel tips and show you what I packed for this six week lasting trip to give you all the information needed in order to plan your very own trip to this beautiful country. So make sure to subscribe, check out my related Colombia travel guides on the blog and don't forget to leave a comment below with your questions regarding traveling the country or share your best Colombia travel tips if you have visited Colombia already. On my channel you find many more travel videos from Latin America full of tips. For now I want to say thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one. Ciao! Breakfast in paradise. Good morning Caribbean.